CBS News Miami Investigations digs deeper into high insurance rates and the difficulty people have in getting the money they feel they're owed. Now, on Monday, we showed you how changes in state law put more risk on consumers who sue their insurance company. Tonight, CBS News Miami Joe Gorcho has the story of two men who worked in the insurance industry who revealed the things they say customers aren't supposed to know. Homes in ruin along Fort Myers Beach. Everyday reminders of Hurricane Ian's wrath. There's a lot of people here that aren't here anymore because of the storm, because you know, they decided to stay. Greg Skazny lives in a Fort Myers Beach neighborhood leveled by Ian. His wife, son, and two dogs okay. now live in a camper where their family home used to be. Some days it's tough. You know, if it, you get cramped into quarters, things aren't working right. He says he filed an insurance claim almost immediately following Ian. I have to deal with insurance is, is a nonstop pain. Since last November, Skazny's family has tried to receive what he believes would be a proper payout from his carrier. I, I didn't get full payout from my insurance. You fight them every day. I mean, I just called my public adjuster literally two days ago to try to collect more insurance that I'm due. We said we're still not even in the bill phase yet. And he's not alone, as we discovered, traveling around Fort Myers. We've all had trouble with insurance companies. Another resident shared her sister's struggles. Insurance did not give them anything. They denied everything. So they're fighting them with a uh, private adjuster. Percentage wise, were they willing to give you in terms of costs toward oh, getting it? Not even, would it cost to build a new house? Not even close to half. Skazny has hired a public adjuster to try to get the claim resolved with this carrier. They do. They force it there by underpayment and they force you to get an attorney and force you to go to court or you take an underpayment and go away. Attorney David Lockard works in Bonita Springs. He spent most of 2022 working for a law firm representing insurance companies in claims disputes with homeowners. I never went to court. You know, you always closed out. Yes, always. Yeah, you just got to find the right number. Even your settlements you knew. Yes. They were lower than what the person should have been getting, but at Of least course. Yeah. They would tell me flat out, you have this much, and I'd always try to get it on the lower side of that. If I had $100,000, I'd try to make you take 90, 85. The more money the insurance company keeps, the more dividend they can give to their shareholder. That's it. And other times, Lockard says, underwriting or delays were a tactic to keep carrier's lights on. Even if it's just to collect premiums to make some more money so that I can pay you out. I mean, they're trying to save their business, too. The plaintiff's attorneys want it to go as long as possible. They'll rack up 50, 60, 80, 100,000. Look, there's no good actor on either side. Lockhart has since left the firm representing carriers to create his own. It's mission to help homeowners fight back. Now I know how the game's played. Stall tactics, haggling, and claims denials are one part of the game Lockhart refers to. So somebody went in and them, um, manipulated the line items and maliciously lowered them all by 50 percent. And that's that's where that's unethical. Stephen Harmon has spent nearly two decades in the insurance field. He reviews residential right. claims they, for law firms fighting insurance companies this, this, in this carrier disputes. Item. But anything purple is where they went in and manipulated the numbers less than the proper payout. He examines insurance adjusters' estimates after a carrier's client says, files a claim. Harmon is, explains the software adjusters the use to calculate payouts to the insured. So the software that you train people in, how can carriers manipulate it to their advantage to lower the payouts? They can go turn things off in the software. And if they turn it off, it's going to pay less by changing labor trades in it. They're not giving a proper depreciation. I carry a general contractor's background. I mean, I've been fired by probably five of the largest insurance firms out there that handle the carriers. As they said, you write a very heavy estimate. One, we owe to indemnify the insured as an adjuster. That's what I told them. But not just to, you know, label one group of people. You know, we all have bad apples on both sides. We have bad officers. We have bad everybody. The cost of a lower estimate? Or they're going to have to pay out of pocket. Which Skazny says he is already doing to rebuild in Fort Myers Beach. I'm still paying a mortgage, wind, and flood on this property that has no house on it. <laughs> That's got to be frustrating. It, it, is, it, it is beyond frustrating. Joe Gorcho, CBS News, Miami. CBS News Miami reached out to multiple insurance industry groups. They did not want to comment on our story. Florida CEFO Jimmy Patronis told us there are bad actors on both sides. Patronis suggests contacting the Department of Financial Services before signing with a lawyer or public adjuster. 
He says their office facilitates free mediation with carriers and claims disputes. This year, DFS tells us they helped policyholders recover around $60 million from insurance companies.